one of the really useful uh, and often overlooked set of features in TLAC, TL zone, TL database is the um, statistics, uh, the various statistics commands and uh, uh, associated filters, the uh, statistics filters uh, that give us lots of detailed information about different fields in your data and how they are used and how they appear. So for example, if we're and this is typical if you're cleaning up data that's been imported from somewhere else. Uh, say we have a field, this this field, and we want this element, and we're wondering if it's uh, um, if it's safe to delete. Uh, we can right-click on it in the tree view and say element, and we get the uh, detailed statistics of the element, which tell us various things about it uh, in detail. Uh, so it gives information such as occurring lists of links. So we can see that this element always appears only after a uh, head word call, always. And we can, so we can confirm that it's always just after the head word call. Um, and again, we can, just, we can just click down there to get the uh, head word call statistics. And then we can see that the head word call occurring right siblings or the only occurring right siblings of head word call is said call sum. So these two we know always go together. Uh, and then we can use uh, the child value statistic to see what are the values of said course. And then we can see it always has the same value. So that allows us to know we can delete this uh, element entirely. It's redundant. And to then use the styles, the style system to generate the symbol, which is in fact that key. Uh, so because we know that, we now know that from the statistics, we know that safe to delete is never used anywhere else except uh, next to the header, uh, next header core. And we know, uh, we can also see information like occurring parents uh, and so on. Um, so now we can delete that element from the DVD. Uh, it serves no purpose and we know that. Uh, other very, you know, other various useful commands are associated like with this. Are uh, if we're let's say right click on the element, say element statistic, the child values, child values left off, child values right off. So this tells us all the occurring fields, basically, or elements, or to the left of us, uh, before or below, or between, between instances of the same. So we can check, okay, between parts of speech. Is it always a comma? Because we need to know, can we alternate the comma? We can see, well, it's usually a comma, but there are a few exceptions. So we can't just automatically put a comma. But we may be able to, you know, we can infer from this whether we can create a styles rule, an automatic styles rule uh, for that or not. Um, these, these commands, all these, several of these commands are also available if you go to dictionary show full statistics or show element statistics, then you know it gives us element count and add each element count. Uh, we can get the detailed statistics for that element by clicking details, as well as child values or sibling patterns. Um, and these filters also just allow us, so if we're looking at e Roman uh, so, for example, or let's pick another one if we're looking at uh, um, so we're looking at the XS detail. Uh, you can see occurring siblings, uh, occurring left siblings, occurring right siblings. We can filter on specific cases. So we can filter to find cases to then see how it's used. We can find cases where uh, this XS appears as a sibling somewhere of a Felix R or whatever, whatever the case may be. And this, uh, all this is really useful information if you're cleaning up the data uh, There are many other uh, filters and statistics filters. If we go to the full statistics and various others, parent-child, parent-child counts, uh, field value breakdowns, many more. Um, yeah.